Hello. Hey. Yo, dude, how's it going? Long time no talk. Yeah, long, very long time. Um, uh, really wise, I've been, I've been studying a bit, but like I'm kind of dropping my current master degree mm -hmm. to like really improve at melee and like try to do content for the French, uh, you know, the French viewers of melee. Mm -hmm. Like lots, but not quite French content and like like to provide that. Mm -hmm. so, oh, that's sick. Like, I, I'm committing a little now. It, it's been like since uh, I, I quit like last Monday, so it's been super recent. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, how, how about you? Um, I've been doing okay. I've just been uh, still working on my game and stuff, but nice. and uh, mostly recovered from the booster shot today. I got it a couple uh, days yeah. ago, and I was pretty messed up. But today yeah. I'm feeling mostly normal. A little soreness and stuff in my arm yeah. and all that, but I'm chilling. Yeah. That's but nice. uh, yeah, I'm I'm starting to train up again for uh, Smash World Tour pretty soon. Yeah. So. Yeah, dude, I almost made it to it, right? Uh, it's <laughs> it's mean, a bummer. Like, it would have been yeah. sick. But next time. Yeah, yeah, next time for sure. Okay, so what do you feel like is the like the direction of this lesson? What would you like to go over um, or improve at? So like basically in Europe right now, the like majority of top players are like Fox Fox players and mm -hmm. like I'm at a point where I don't lose to people to Fox less good than me. Like I don't I can't really lose to them. Mm -hmm. But I have like the exact same kind of trouble with like the better foxes and like I've I've never had like a an upset like I've never upset like a top fox. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so like I feel like that's really yeah holding me back like it's it's. So like, you're at like a very clear point where like you don't lose yeah. to the people worse than you, but you never yeah. beat the people yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like kind of the same with like every matchup, but for the fox Dito specifically, it's like it's like. Yeah, it's totally this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, all right, let's check this out. The screen share is working, right? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm, I'm ready to take some notes as well. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Wait, which one are you? Uh, The red one. Okay. The red one. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Um, go, what were you going to say? Yeah, I have this problem with the, like, it happens a lot when I play, uh, like, basically Leffen, Pipsqueak, mm -hmm. and also when I played uh, IBW2 uh, through Netplay, it, it was, like, kind of big. I feel like uh, when I'm versus a fox that's faster than me, uh, I'm going to mirror them a lot, like, I'm doing, like, non-committal stuff, kind of. Mm-hmm. So a lot of like short up down air and sometimes I feel like super dumb about it. So I agree with the short hop down air stuff, but this mm -hmm. is like way too committal. So like if you were going to yeah. do this, you would want to kind of stay in this area, like fade back mm -hmm. drill right here. Because yeah. sort of stuff is approach. Because like if like, uh, yeah, but basically like this isn't low committal. This is like extremely high commitment. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. So you just get opened up for that. Okay, you get the hit. Good tech chase. I got. I, yeah. I, I, for the tech chase, I'm starting to implement. I want to implement the, uh, you know, the tech lock, tech lock out, uh, uh, wave sham down tilt. What was that? Uh, like here for the tech chase, I do a stupid up smash, which I think is kind of not suboptimal because it's like in tournaments, it's pretty rough to eat. A, yeah, the a thing is, I, I wouldn't say this is awful. Um, yeah. It's definitely like, it's not the best option, but yeah. I would rather you hit this than like try to grab and get wake yeah, up yeah. shined or whatever. Uh, so, I, so. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I mean, I feel like up tilt, turn on up tilt or wave shine uh, down tilt are better. Mm -hmm. But I don't really know when I should use one or one other. Um, so wave shine down tilt. There's like a like I would say almost all the time wave shine down tilt is really good because yeah. So you yeah. know how it's like a tech trap, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like tech clock out. So yeah. Yeah. So uh, they uh, can't do anything if yeah. you if they tech in place. Um, yeah. So I think I think that's really good. Um, 
Obviously, yeah. up tilt is good, and regrab are also yeah. good. Um, I would say all of those are probably better than the yeah. the up smash here, but yeah. uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the wave shine down tilt because you might yeah. like go onto the edge. So like, I am not like I'm not super against this up smash. Like I, I think if you lo yeah. like I think you losing this set is not because you up. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, yeah. Um. The one thing though is I would say right here is be careful what uh be careful wave dashing in this game in general because yeah. like um when you wave dash it doesn't seem like a lot of lag but it's like yeah. an, it's enough lag yeah. that it like ruins your ability to like space so like yeah. right here he goes for this double jump and so if you didn't wave dash here, you could have just done like a dash dance and gone for like a back air shark or something here or an up air shark. And he would be in kind of like a bad spot because, you know, you can hit him before he lands. He doesn't have a double jump. If he does mm -hmm. land, you can kind of hit him as he's landing and stuff like that. But when you do this wave dash back, you completely yeah. give up, like, all of your ability to, like, punish it. Yeah. So, yeah, I I've seen you, uh, one of your analyses of uh, the Fox Peach matchup, and you've talked about the... Um how wave dash are uh, like majority of the wave dash are useless yeah yeah dash. yeah like when you wave dash I, I, back i've been trying to to like do less of them okay yeah especially the wave dash back the wave dash yeah. back is just really yeah. bad as fox okay all of this so far is completely fine i'm good I'm not seeing anything okay that happens it's frustrating Okay. Yeah. What happened here? Yeah, I do. A okay, yeah, you just got clipped. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Something super small here is like this nair is fine, but I would have waited yeah. just a little bit longer to start yeah. it. But otherwise, it's just, it's a good nair. Yeah, the double jump. I should have done come it at the end but okay you slightly miss the, that thing okay okay no problem so far i think that's good okay good light shield too he's gonna go down I <laughs> so this is this is funny because you start out and you do this light shield that's really good to get yeah. away from his invincibility but so yeah but then you you just like wave dash right here so he catches yeah. you like that that's Damn. just yeah it's just like a small thing you have to watch out for. Like you did a good job avoiding it and then you still let him hit you. Um be careful, like you know, like obviously you wanna like pressure them somewhat here, but if he had like ledge yeah. dash shined or anything here, you just would have yeah. gotten hit. So this yeah, is yeah. just like a, a mistake. And you almost yeah. okay, you might lose your stock for it. Or like you at least like Fox dittos are kind of, you know, balanced on like the the head of a pin or whatever. So if you make like a like a real bad decision, mm -hmm. it might just cost you the whole game. Like now you're down a stock, whereas like literally before you did this, yeah. before you did this thing, like so there were two mistakes this stock, right? The first one is this where you yeah. get grabbed, and then you get out. And then this is the second mistake. Yeah, and and yeah. then that was enough that you're behind a stock. Yeah. So like a lot of times in the Fox Ditto, it's like more about who doesn't do bad things. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I've, I've definitely played like a lot of high level Fox Dittos yeah. where I don't really combo super hard. Like obviously comboing really hard is like a really big deal. But a yeah. lot of times if you kind of just hit your edge guards and you don't, yeah. and you don't really die. I think that's my... The like edge guards uh, in this matchup are like particularly rough for me. Okay, that's and... definitely something you need to work on then, because like the the edge guard in this matchup is the decider. Yeah. It's like yeah. the decider. Yeah. So like if you're better than someone, but they're edge guarding better than yeah. you, you'll probably lose. You'll probably just yeah, lose. Yeah, I, I've lo I've got a lot of sets with like basically every set versus of me versus ice is me like. Uh, winning the, mm -hmm. the, the first game, but actually at the end or some somewhere I'm gonna choke a easy Edward like twice, uh -huh. um, and then I, I'll get cheesed, and then I'll get like mad for the whole set and like 
that it's mm-hmm. over. Okay. Yeah, okay. If we see any edge guards, we can go over yeah. them. Uh, yeah. Most likely, you're overcomplicating the edge guard a little bit. Um, yeah. Sometimes what people do is like they try to cover everything on reaction. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. And then so that what that does is you have like a hundred options going through your head, and you're trying to like frame perfect react. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times the better option is to sort of like just choose like my my algorithm is like I make it look like I'm gonna do one edge guard. Yes. Yeah. So, like, let's say each edge guard covers like what, like one third of the options. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what I'll do is like. I'll pretend to hit option A, and then I'll go for option B. So then the only one that, like, looks... Or, like... So basically, he's probably not going to do A, because, like, I'm making it look like I'm going to do A. Mm -hmm. And if he does B, I'll hit him. And then if he does C, yeah, he gets back. But that kind of gives me, like, sort of, like, a 2 out of 3 odds. Like, kind of. And I kind of do that and, like, use that to, like, simplify it. And then also, like... If I can, I try to make every edge guard in Armada okay. shine. And I know you've yeah. heard that before, but like, yeah. it really is important. Yeah. And, and, and uh, like you, you talked about the, um, you know, if you uh, if you have A, B, and C, if you have A and choose uh, B, you can still cover it kinda. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you're covering the ledge and doing doing everything else, it's really hard to to like cover more than one just a ledge. I feel like I can't really cover more than the ledge a uh, lot of time. Mm. Okay, well, if we see a situation, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Other- otherwise, when we're done with this, we'll just go over the general edge guard. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. here's this same dare again. Like, mm-hmm. I-, I know it feels like you're, you're like, kind of fade back daring and yeah. also kind of covering, like, a run-in, but it's uh-huh. just the majority yeah. of the time this this is too risky for it to yeah. be worth it. Yeah. So, like, you see the drill he's doing? I would much rather you do this drill. So, like, notice how, like, he just does dash back, and then he does dash in, and then he does, like, a shield dare. Yeah. Like, basically, don't don't worry about the shield, but just, like, the drift on the dare. Yeah. Like, his yeah. dare is gonna win this. And it's, like, his yeah. is, like, less committal and stuff like that, too. So like you really don't you really gotta watch out for that dare because that seems to be a bad habit. Yeah, I should I should drift away as much as possible every time. I think. Yeah, and then just also don't do it out of like a full dash jump. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. uh, you can yeah, like yeah, yeah. you can like hold down before you jump. Like do dash and then press down and then jump and oh, you'll kind. Oh, nice. And then that way you'll do like a shorter jump. Oh, I see. Okay, nice. Um. Okay. So then, so you get hit with this. Let's see. So this is one thing is that like at uh, low percents. So I noticed that when he was at like 80 or 90, you were doing like that back air, back air, back air, back air, back air thing. Yeah. And like last stock or whatever. That's totally good. It's totally fine to do that. And I was good with it. But now you're doing it when he's at like 20%. Yeah. And it's not a good idea this low percent, like this. Because notice that, like, see, yeah. you, you, like, read him here, and that's why you get this back air. But if you had read this same thing with a dash back, dash, and grab, you would have yeah. possibly taken his stock. Like, right here, mm-hmm. if you had just dash back, yeah. dash, and grab there, or up tilted, or whatever, you have a way yeah. bigger opening than, like, these moves. And then, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, once again, like, you go for a weak nair here, but weak yeah. nair's not gonna knock down. You yeah. need you need to like, um, so one thing that I try to that I've been telling people a lot lately is like don't try to hit them with a move, try to hit them with a combo. So like every mm-hmm. time when you do a move, you should have in mind like if this move hits, I'm gonna get this big combo. Mm-hmm. Because like a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but like it's kind of a natural thing to assume in this game, like intuitively, that like yeah. if I hit my opponent, things will go well for me. Like things can't yeah. possibly go badly for me. Yeah and, in, yeah, and in most fighting games, that's true. But in this game, it's not because people can CC and they can like yeah. counter hit you, and like all these weird things can happen. And, like, yeah. also, your move might not even get you a combo. So you just mm-hmm. have to be careful of, like, only do moves, you know, maybe, you know, this, like, 
don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with some random nares and stuff like that. Like yeah. they they are a part of neutral. But in general, you want to be like I don't I don't get like that hunting feeling from you. Like I get the feeling that you're trying to yeah. outplay in neutral, which is which is good that you're trying to outplay in neutral. But I don't get that feeling of like if I touch you, you will die. Yeah. And the thing is, is most of the time you're gonna be missing. You're you're not gonna hit the full zero death in Fox Dittos. It's really hard for Fox to combo Fox, but you yeah. need the feeling that you're hunting for that kill. Okay, good. Okay, that was a totally fine edge guard. Um, let's see. Yeah, the up air there is fine. Looks like you just missed the follow up here. It's okay. Yeah. Cause I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, gotta watch out for these too. Yeah. Like here, it's just another thing where you're like, well, I might as well just like kind of put out yeah. moves. But like, your risk reward on this is not good. Yeah. Yeah, now like You'd be it. much better off like in this position, like uh, resetting to neutral and just kind of dash dancing, maybe full hopping, um, mm -hmm. going to the platform. Cause that's kind of like what he does. Like watch what he does here. So you're kind of in like a similar spot where you're like kind of even on frames like next to each other, like right here. Yeah. But then his idea is he's gonna full hop and then your idea is to short hop here. Yeah. The full hop is just like better usually in general. Cause he could have full hop double jumped away if he had seen you dash dancing here or whatever. Yeah. So you just have to like think really hard about like, okay, like which options are actually yeah. like, which yeah. options give me high reward, and then yeah. which options are like low commitment? Uh, could I have just like dashed, dashed to him? Dash, dash in. Like if I read this full up, for example. But... Um. Yeah, I mean, I think it's better to like dash dance punish the full hop. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. And then um. Let's see, what was I gonna say? I was about to say something. A lot of times it seems like you're not okay with the neutral situation kind of going for like longer. Um, yeah. So some advice I would give you is try to make it like five seconds between when you hit each other. So like if you, if you kind of break and nobody's comboing anybody and you're kind of in like a neutral situation, yeah. try to just like kind of make it a longer time before it okay. resolve before it resolved yeah. and i'm not telling you to do this necessarily like in tournament you know like be counting yeah. to five or whatever yeah, but yeah, like yeah. when you're just practicing there's just mm -hmm. so many times where like the fox is like kind of in a spot where you can engage but like think about it it's a ditto if you feel like you can kind of hit them they should feel the same yeah. about you and yeah. so like I just noticed that a lot of times you're looking for the neutral situation to resolve very quickly. And that is fine as a mix-up. Like, it's fine, you know, if... It's kind of like when Leffen approaches and you're like, wait, what? Because he's been, like, running away for the last, like, four minutes? <laughs> like... I don't know. I've, I've literally, like, you're literally the only non-European Fox I've ever played. Offline, at least, so... Hi. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, I'm not necessarily like I. I wouldn't say you know Leffen is like camping when I. Okay, see it's him not. It's the thing is, it's not necessarily. I'm not saying like yeah, oh yeah. Leffen's like no, a big no, camp no. or anything, no. but like when you get in these little yeah. situations where you're like right next to him, the majority of the time you should you should expect like. So, like, basically, if you're a really good player, the majority of the time, you should be expected to, like, wait on a neutral interaction. Okay, yeah, just just wait for me. Because, to, like, to, um, yeah. the more interactions you have, and, not, and by interaction, I don't mean, like, you hitting them, you know? Like, the more times, you know, you're dash dancing around each other, and one of you full hops, and the other dashes again, and then, you know, one of you rolls, and you dash again, and, like, yeah. you're kind of whiffing moves, the longer that goes on the more likely the better player will win. Uh, and s because you have more chances, like you're playing an even game, you yeah. have more chances to uh, find like a habit or find an inconsistency or find a mistake. So you have more chances for your opponent to make a mistake. Whereas if you're just narrowing in here, it doesn't really yeah. matter who your opponent is, um, 
you're not like you're not giving yourself a big opportunity to like outplay them here okay um, yeah I, yeah okay. so yeah i'll keep i would have you watched my lesson with sora my recent lesson with sora uh no i uh, should okay i would i will actually let me grab that for you right now and okay. this is just i would recommend that after this lesson you watch this okay. because it's the entire thing is on the whole like taking your time to outplay the opponent thing mm -hmm. nice yeah that's definitely what i need <laughs> yeah here we go. So yeah, usually like uh, when I'm in the corner, like uh, I, I I panic I panic like near a lot. Not panic near, but like I want to go in right away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in, instead of just I could just take like my my time, even if I don't really have like the the stage position, I could still fight for it in some way. You uh, should totally... almost always take your time. Because, like, so, the easiest time to approach your opponent is when they're chasing you. <laughs> because yeah. they're they're coming at you. But if they think you're going to approach, they're just going to move back, and you're yeah. probably going to miss it. Yeah. And see, they, there it is again, is, like, so you have them in the corner. Theoretically, you're in a pretty good position here, although I would watch out for this wave dash back. Yeah. Um, because if he spot dodged or something, you wouldn't have been able to punish it. But then so you're right here. You wave dash down, and like he knows. Like look look at from the white fox's yeah. perspective. He knows yeah. you're like itching to come in. He can feel yeah. it. So true, of true, course, true. so of course he's gonna dash dance grab this, and then you could have died. And so it's like right here. There wasn't like remember there's like fundamental things you want to be baiting your opponent. You know, you want to be tricking them into over committing. And those are, like, when you get a win in that way, it's worth way more than a win because you, like, nared in or whatever. Because it yeah. means you're, like, legit out playing someone. So, like, when you're in this spot, you're not really thinking, I'm going to trick him. You're thinking, like, here I come, I bet you can't stop me, and then <laughs> and then you yeah. come in and then he gets you, you know? And, like, yeah. and a lot of times as Fox, that sort of aggressive mentality is fine, but it's it's... You it's you got to be careful to not rely on it, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. I I'm, I'm shocked I didn't show that it that it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Okay, what is happening here? You kind of just scramble here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is another thing. Is remember when he goes to ledge, just don't don't yeah. pressure fox on ledge you can kind of stand right here but then don't go in because like you're just gonna get invincible ledge dash option it's a free opening for your opponent and for no real reason yeah you seem to get hit by this a lot like the falling back air stuff it feels yeah i'm so bad versus like every matchup like versus smart i like last week i've lost a uh, like really important set because I was just not ready for like, pull like pull off uh, aerials of like well, any characters. What it looks like is it looks like you're getting hit because you're trying to whiff punish it. Um, so like I would just say like a lot of times in like a spot like this when you're like here and your opponent's here, you know, this is the max range of their back air like right here. Yeah. So I would probably just dash dance like right here, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and like. Let's say they do whiff this back air. If you just keep dash dancing, they're probably going to freak out and shine or spot dodge or something. You have, yeah. like, a mix-up here where you could, like... Like, let's say they whiff this, you could full hop over them. And then if they if they spot dodge, you kill them. And if they don't, then you just double jump away. Like, there's a lot of ways to deal with this. Like, yeah. basically, there's just, like, a lot of spots where it's kind of, like... I want you to take like good or even and not good or bad so like like for instance like this back air it's like okay either you get hit with the back air and that's really really bad or yeah. you dash dance grab him and that's really really good you know yeah. i would rather you say okay so sometimes i'm not gonna be able to punish the back air and that's okay yeah. we'll remain in neutral but if he does a really bad back air, 
then I can just react and kill him yeah. or get a pressure afterward. So like that kind of like win or nothing. That's a lot, that is like a big thing in this game in general and it ties into like that kind of waiting and neutral action thing too is mm -hmm. kind of like if you go right away for the resolution of the neutral and you're like somebody's going to win then either you win or you yeah. lose. But if you yeah. maintain careful neutral game and you space really well Mm -hmm. you're now at even you can you could basically force the match you know to go for seven minutes by like yeah. maintaining evenness and being very careful and then yeah. once you can do that then you can look for opportunities and you have kind of like a neutral or positive the positive or negative split is really like something you want to generally avoid in this game mm -hmm. okay Okay, he's doing the classic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so but here, so check this out. So he this time he did it for you. <laughs> yeah. So like your so like your issue right has been approaching yeah. too much, but this time he makes it impossible for you to approach. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. you are forced to play like let's see how long it is between when yeah. you hit each other. True. True. So let's see. So he hits you, okay, right here. Okay, so it's at 535, and you guys don't hit each other until... Yeah. 526, so that's yeah. nine seconds. But notice that during this nine seconds, you were fine, you weren't in any danger. Maybe when you did the up air you were, but like generally here, you're fine. You're just, like, you're just here. And then he makes a dumb error and you're like, oh, okay, I'll just keep playing. Oh, dumb error again. Now I got you. So you could have tried to punish this Nair the first time, and you might have just gotten a hit. And that's kind of what he was hoping for. But you didn't do it. You're like, nope, you know what? I'm going back to, like, I'm just going to keep playing. He's like, all right, fine, I'll keep playing. He's like, this dumb Nair? And you're like, nah, see, this time I'm ready. And then you, you hit him for it. So, like, yeah, it took nine seconds. But eventually, you got a free punish. You didn't have to read him or anything. You just saw what he did and you punished him. And the more you play the long neutral situations, the more that'll happen. I There's a joke that I make, which is like optimal spacey dittos, is that you both just move around until one person misses a wave land on the platform and then the other person grabs them. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of a joke, but it's also kind of a thing. I mean, it, it, even like for the... It's either a push up like after the other approach also so as you say so it makes sense mm -hmm. okay oops wait how did this start um okay so this is like a this is like a positional thing is that like so you know first of all right i want you to be waiting longer Hopefully yeah. there would be no interaction until, yeah. <laughs> dude. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at. I was like five seconds. This is freaking point less than half a second after the match has started. You are already trying to hit the guy like that. That is you have aggression in your heart. Okay, yeah. so this is a positional thing. Is running shine at this spacing is useless because he'll always go to the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well not even go for running shine in this spot. Running shine is really about like center stage. Like if you're gonna running shine, you either wanna like running out of the corner running shine and running shine like here, like towards center, or like to here. But as soon as you get over here, shine is yeah. kind of useless. Yeah, just before this range, you can get the like shine, uh, running shine neutral layer and like they kind of get off the stage and you can shine them again. Oh, is that what you were going for? Yeah, I, mm. no, probably not. Probably not because I missed. So uh, I, I did a drill, I think. So probably not. But okay. Um. So the thing with that running shine nair thing is that yeah. like, so don't get me wrong. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But like, it's kind of like um. I don't know what to say. Like it's 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 not that it's like cheesy, but it's a little cheesy. Like um. It's yeah. like, I would rather you do, you do that running shine, nair shine thing, 
as like icing on your cake rather than like you're kind of just like picking up icing with your hands and eating it <laughs> yeah. okay yeah so like i would rather you like drill grab and like play around and like also remember not not to attack in the first half a second of the game but yeah. um just sort of play it safe get a drill grab play like the standard fox ditto really well and then like one out of every 50 stocks maybe you'll get this running shine there thing uh -huh. but like yeah. it's like remember like the game is here so that you can outplay the guy and immediately starting a match running in shine nearing and hoping for a gimp is kind of like uh it's kind of like gambly like you it's almost like you know you've kind of accepted that he's better than you and you're kind of like well i'll only win if i ra i get this like random lucky kill or whatever you know yeah, and you know and I, I feel like deep down that's how i really feel about this uh, this is like better fox player than me mm -hmm. like on the sh on the sheet they're better so like I, that's probably deep down what i'm seeking but I also kind of do this versus uh, lower play, low level players, mm -hmm. and it still works. Somehow. Well, that's the thing is versus people worse than you. I don't yeah. care what you do. You could do freaking yeah. anything and you'll win. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's a better <laughs> game and like. But like, players. so it's like it's like irrelevant, you know. Like yeah. it doesn't matter what works against lower level players, whatever, because you're gonna beat them every time just because you're better. What matters is beating these people. So like. I have this issue talking to a lot of people is they're like man well some stuff works against the good players and some stuff works against the bad players like yeah. it's hard to find like a balance of what to do there's an answer to that the answer is always do the things that are just gonna work against good players mm -hmm. and when you play against a bad player the things you're doing might not like work like it might not be the optimal way to defeat this bad player but remember, you can kind of do whatever you want to beat bad players. Yeah. So, like, you should be trying to just strictly practice things that yeah. work against the best players. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you gotta be careful with these wave dashes. You're doing them again here. Yeah. Like, wave dash back, and you mm -hmm. dash dance, wave dash back. These are just yeah. missed potential whiff punishes on anything he does. How did you get hit here? So I think it sort of goes without saying that you don't really want to, like, attack into Fox on a platform. Because he has, like, Shine on a shield, and he has Short Hop Drill, and he has all kinds of things. Just chill. If you just kind of chill here in center, like, think yeah. about it. Positionally, you are at an advantage. Not only do you have the percent lead, although it doesn't really matter at this point, but you have center stage. If you have the center of the stage, like you have already achieved the perfect position in the match, right? Everybody wants to get center stage. So you have already achieved the perfect position. He is not in a perfect position. So if you want to stay here and he wants to stay here, eventually you'll get like full hop double laser, you know, dash dance pressure and then dash back, full hop double laser. Like if he wants to remain where he is, you will yeah. win. So there's no reason to give him a good position when you were in the best position you could be in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Standard recovery edge guard stuff. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay. The drill worked, so I'm not going to say anything about it. But that was kind of that same drill that you've been doing. Yeah. Like, at the beginning of the match. It has the yeah, exact yeah. same drift, and it's also in the exact same position. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, okay, so you get this drill, shine. Remember, low percent, most of the time, drill grab. Like, you really want to get yeah. the drill grab. Because notice that he, he texts this. He texts the shine, yeah. so he would have he would have he would have lost the drill grab because he teched the shine. Okay, good grab. Ah. Okay, be really careful with the shield stop here. Kalindi does this too. Uh, it's an it's just a really bad habit because it prevents yeah. you from hitting this one. So yeah, you have to wave that out to yeah. wave up the shield. It, it takes time. Yeah. So, so this is kind of funny to me. It's like, so look at this. So this is almost an exact reversal of earlier where he's in center and you're yeah. on the platform. 
But yeah. when you're in this spot, you're not like, eh, I'm comfy. He's going to come to me. You know, you're like, man, I got to get off this platform and I got to get into center. And yeah. so it's like, you, you have to remember, like, you're playing the same character that your opponent is playing. So, like, if you're on the platform and you feel kind of bad and you feel like you need to get into center, yeah. then when you're in center, you should be like, man, this other guy definitely needs to attack me in center, you know? Yeah. Okay, that was good, Nair. At high percent, Nair and Bear are so good. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, this is good. You you prevented him from b killing you with with his pressure. Really, really good. Careful with these wave dash backs. Careful yeah, with these. Yeah, I feel like I lose so many frames because of this. Yeah, like that shield wave dash back is just kind of like, yeah. uh. <laughs> uh. It's funny because he does the exact dare that you've been doing that I don't like. And you probably should have just been able to beat him for it. Uh, yeah. He just kind of hard read the exact timing that you were going in. Um, so, yeah, this is just like an example of like, just wait a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> and if they do something dumb, you'll be able to punish it. So it's kind of like a, whoever acts first usually loses mm -hmm. in the ditto. And so, like, you don't want to act first, and neither does your opponent. Yeah. But if neither of you acts ever, nothing happens. And so that is kind of like the push-pull of it, is, like, you don't want to attack first, but you kind of yeah. want... So, like, you don't want... You want your opponent to commit first, so your job is to, like, trick your opponent into an early commitment, not, yeah. not to go for your own. So you just have to be yeah. really careful. You, you always want to be second. And just be really careful with aerials like this. Because, like, he's at 30, you're weak nearing, yeah. you undershoot. It's just like a very, it's like a pointless move. If you hit, nothing will happen. And if you get hit, you'll probably die. Mm. This is definitely a guaranteed tech chase that you need to be hitting every time. Uh, which one? The down tilt? This, just this on the platform right here. The, 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 uh, the, uh the I wouldn't, I wouldn't down tilt here, but I'm sure it, it probably works if you're, no, mm, I don't know. All I know is that you definitely can kill him here. Because he's at 51. If you did this instant up air here, I think what it looks like is that you spent too long in your dash. Oh. Uh. Cause it's like here, and then you do. Let's see. So you wait a bunch of frames before moving already. Yeah, true. And then you go one, two, three, four, and you jump on the fourth frame. So it's like you waited like, let's see. Yeah, I I lose quite a lot. Like let's I see how many like frames you're actually. Until seven before. frames. So it's like, it looks like. Probably one. this is your first one. one so this is like yeah. one, two, three, four five six so you're six frames late on the dash back and then one two three four so you're yeah. like around like nine frames late total or like 10 frames yeah and then like so let's see so like how many frames mm -hmm. positive is he on this um one two three four five so yeah he's so like he's five frames positive here so if you were you know, optimal, you would have five more frames here before your shield comes in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the down tilt wouldn't have hit anyway, because it's yeah. too slow. But you can definitely, like, up throw, full hop, up air, re-grab, or whatever, yeah. Ooh. Be really careful. This is like a rule in general. If you are ever in this position, or yeah. even like if Fox is on the ground here, I could have grabbed him. You should really not shield drop often. Mm. And I used to do this all the time, and Cody called it the Shep Shine. <laughs> but I've seen every Fox pretty much use it now, and it's basically just the idea is that if you shield drop here, you can get shined, and then you literally die. <laughs> A lot of times. So just be really careful shield dropping. There's that wave dash, dude. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah. Is it out of shield? Yeah, it's because you're doing it out of shield. It's like, um, I think you just might be over shielding in that spot rather than dash dancing. Because it just, yeah. it, it just kind of messes up your spacing. Like, notice that he's not shielding. He's just moving and throwing out moves. Whereas your shield is a lot of times kind of messing up your mobility. And I think shield is good in this matchup. But, like, shield wave dash back is not very good. It's not good in a lot of these close-up situations that you're using it in. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. That was still really good, though. Okay, good. Hmm. I think you should have Armada Shine this. Yeah. It looks like you accidentally full hopped here, maybe, but... Uh, I, I wanted... To, yeah, I think I wanted to shut up back here again, probably. I don't know. Okay. No, not sure. But yeah, not you don't sure. get it. You get the back here. That's fine. You cleaned it up. Yeah, it's it's battlefield, so it's easier, kind of. Okay, so then what happens? Let's see. I really want to see more movement here. Yeah. Like, I notice that it. you're you it feel you feel kind of constrained in this little space, and he's kind of mm -hmm. moving around everywhere, and it's like you really want to have like more movement around the stage, um, going to platforms. Like, full hopping around, like, just notice, that, like, even in this spot where you're kind of dash dancing a lot, you haven't left the ground for, like, a while. Yeah. And it just kind of makes your fox feel, like, a little static. Yeah, it feels super slow, yeah. Where it feels like you're kind of fighting in place, and then your opponent yeah. is kind of moving everywhere. Yeah. And you totally. want... I kind of have that issue in the Falco ditto. I, I a lot of times, end up mm. as the stationary Falco, and it's definitely a problem for me. So I oh. definitely understand. Yeah, I should like Waveland more, maybe neutral. Should do what? Like more wave Waveland, like going to the platform. Yeah, like not even necessarily Waveland on platforms. A lot of times yeah. it's just like full hop to plat, or like full yeah. hop fall through, and then full hop double jump, mm. and yeah. then like just sort of dash dancing and just like moving more. Like, like think of it as like. Think of it as like the stage has like zones, right? So like let's say let's ignore the super corner, but let's say this is like one, two, three, and then the platforms are like four, five, six, right? You yeah. you kind of want to be like everywhere. Like you want to be here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, mm. then here, then here, then here, then here. Like a lot of times I say is like this matchup. I told uh, Nikki I played him at a uh, Shine twenty nineteen. And we played a money match, and I, I kind of beat him up. And mm -hmm. I told him the reason for it was that, like, I had trickier platform movement than him, and his was kind of, like, repetitive or, like, purely functional. Yeah. A lot of times, the like, the reason why you go to the platform or you move around in the platforms, you yeah. don't, you shouldn't need, like, a distinct reason, like, oh, I'm going to wave land off the platform and hit him. A lot of times it's simply useful to change the positions in the game. It's kind of like, um, you know, like, like basketball or something. It's kind of like, you know, you want to be shooting the ball from different points on the court. <laughs> like all the yeah. time. You don't really want like your one spot where you always shoot from or whatever. Or like one spot where you're always kind of standing a lot of times you want to be kind of like a little bit more dynamic with everything just yeah. because it like in by increasing how dynamic your movement is and the positions you take part in it's just makes life harder for your opponent yeah i, I feel like also maybe a, like i'm just straight up slow too on the platform and stuff like mm, this and i should just I try to get more for sure so that might also be the reason why I don't pause them. Okay, I would say full hop and neutral in general, actually. I haven't seen you do basically any full hops. Yeah. And full hop is, like, the best move in this matchup. There's, like, kind of a joke thing that I tell people, but, like, it's also kind of real, which is that Fox's full hop is stronger against Fox than it is against Falco. And yeah. it's like, and you're like, why? That doesn't make any sense, but... It is kind of really that strong. Like, Fox's full hop is really a lot stronger than you think it is in this matchup. So I would say, like, oh, oh, hey, here we go. Look at this. So you just kind of did this movement. This is what I want to see more of, where you did this, and then you kind of, like, came back down. Like, yeah. there wasn't, like, a super specific purpose to that. It was just, yeah. like, I'm changing the position so that my opponent has to respect 
my change in position, you know? Yeah. So that's really good. Oh no, but then you just instantly do this drill. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, just keep waiting. Just keep, like right here, instead of doing this, I probably would have gone to the platform again. So like right here, you go like this, you come up here, you come down, I would have done this little dash dance, and then I would have full hopped up to this platform. And then I would have come down, and I would have dash danced, and I would have full hopped over him, and then come back to the top plat, and then come down to the side plat, and then come back down again, and then go here again. And, like, eventually, I'm going to find an opening. Whereas, like, in this spot, it's just, like, you do this good platform movement, and then you're, adven and then you're like, eh, drill the center, and then he just kills you. And it's like, okay, well, you know, you had a good thing going, but if you give it up, you no longer have the good thing. <laughs> like, you're just, like, in this, in this matchup... It doesn't matter how many good things you do. Once you do a bad thing, you simply lose. And yeah, these drills have been have been getting punished pretty much every time. Um, I think you just need to wait a little longer. I think you're just doing them at a predict predictable timing. Because it seems like he basically reads the exact timing that you act out every single time. Oh, dude, look at look at look at what he's doing. Our money match was game five. I know, Nikki. <laughs> okay. But it, it was an easy game five, okay? Okay, so... It, this was forever ago, too, okay? Calm down. Okay, so look at his movement. Notice how, like, if this was you and he was in the corner, you would just be doing this dash dance, and then you would probably, like, drill in, right? But he's going like this. He's moving. He goes back to the plat. He yeah. comes back here. Comes back to the plat. He's moving. And then he gets this nair, <laughs> and it makes the timing a lot harder to deal with. Hmm. Okay, Nikki, get out of here, Nikki. <laughs> I, I remember having, having felt like super like powerless uh, at this exact moment. I was doing like nothing, standing in the, uh, either like doing nothing or like shield wave was moving. Everywhere. Yeah, sh the shield wave dash back like, thing. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah come on, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, so now at this point you can definitely see cuz look at look at his approach. So look at your approaches begin identically. And then you do this look at where you started your drill from. You started yeah. your drill from like all the way in the corner. And then it was he it was it was even too far away for him to punish it and then you just go for it again. So like I want you to be the white fox here. I want your opponent to be the red fox. We're like, look, dash, 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 drill, dash, dance back in, drill, and then he uh, just waits and gets his drill. Watch his perspective now. Dash, 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 dash. Now I get my drill, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like he doesn't he didn't get impatient after like two two dashes. Okay, he punishes your whiff. Uh, yeah, once again, it just seems like a lot of times your timings are a little predictable on when you come in. I think a lot of times you'll do kind of like, it looks like what you do is you do kind of, also watch out for these wave dash backs. You sneak them in all the yeah. time. Like right yeah. here, you're like, you're dash dancing, and then you wave dash back, and then it's like, you could have whiff punished this if you didn't wave dash. Yeah. But then you try to whiff punish it anyway, and you get hit. Yeah. But you were late. I'm like a, I'm like a Samus Fox. <laughs> mm hmm Okay. Okay, and it kills you. Okay. Good. No. So like a lot of times when you're in like a spot like this where you're scared, mm -hmm. full hopping is better. Because Here's the thing. Let's say, like, what does he have that beats shield? He has grab, shine, aerial, full hop, dash dance. He has a lot of things that beat shield. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not telling you shield is bad. But what I'm saying is, like, he does have options that can beat shield that he's more likely to do here. Whereas if you full hop... The only option Fox has that actually beats Fox's full hop is reading it with his own full hop. And that's why it's so powerful, is that if you full hop here, none of his moves, like this grab would not work. 
his short hop aerials would not work. He would have had to hard read you. And so I was like, just learning to full hop more in spots like that, I think would be very advantageous for you. And then once yeah. again, you just get punished trying to hit him out of his ledge dash. Just let him back. Yeah. <laughs> just let him back, I'm telling you. Because here's the thing is, when you let him back, yeah, you're missing out on the times that they mess up their ledge dash, but you're also not getting hit by their ledge dash options. And like in these games against this opponent, you are getting hit by ledge dash options. You've gotten hit by ledge dash options like four times, or something like that. And you haven't hit him out of his ledge dash a single time. So it's probably a good idea if you're against a good opponent like this not to uh, do that. Mm. Dude, he did the same wave dash back you did. I, if I was coaching him, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, look, you could have punished the shield. Stupid. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, this, this nair here is a hard read on you full hopping out of the corner. Yeah. But he, so he gets you. Okay, you're getting pressure. No. No. I know you tried to up smash, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you flip okay. Yeah, careful about these drills still. They're still a little over committal. Okay. I can feel it kind of like you're like, ah, I'm losing this set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay at this point. Like, it's not. You've definitely gave I, up on your plan. Good run. I was like. <laughs> but, like, here, look. This is again. I want you to burn this into your mind that this is not. This is not who you're going to be after this lesson. You are not going to do stuff like this where you dash dance like three or four times and then just nair in. I yeah. don't. I just want. I need that to stop. Mm. Like, I need yeah. you to not be this guy anymore. Yeah. Because notice that he's never this guy. Yeah. He's, he's like, waiting. He does his up tilt. He's looking for his for his stuff. Like, mm. he's not the guy who just does dash dance four times and nares in. And you just have, like, you just don't want to be that guy anymore, you know? <laughs> it's, just, it's just not, it's not productive past a certain point. Uh -huh. I think that when you're at lower level, nares like that, a lot of times I... I like encourage foxes to do because I want them to kind of like learn the limits of their aggression but I think yeah. you're kind of at a point where like you've sort of learned the limits of that aggression and so now you're in like a weird transitional period where like you know that the aggression isn't always great but it's also like all you know <laughs> and so it, I th there's kind of like this friction there between like <laughs> Yeah. You're like, I know I shouldn't approach, but every time my hands touch the controller, they approach. And so it creates, like, a conflict where, like, you're not really playing defensive, but you're also not, like, psycho approaching. So it ends up as that kind of weird, like, I'll wait half a second and then jump in type thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's really, like, you kind of, that's, like, something you really want to, like, avoid. And, yeah, there it is again. Yeah. But this is the end of the session. But this is still, this is your autopilot coming out. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. your autopilot coming out of, like, you see him and you're just like, bam, there. And it's yeah, like, uh, yeah, and worried. it's like, man, like, Fox is so close to me. This nair has got to hit. And it's like, nope, Fox's dash is too fast. This nair will miss. Yeah. Crazy whiff punish, though. Mm hmm. No, it was a really good whiff punish by him. Yeah. I'll give him that. Um. Okay. We are, let's see, how much time do we have left? We have we have about five minutes left. So let's see. Is there? Any, do you have any questions or anything you want to talk about? Um. Uh, like I feel like we kind of pinpointed the exact issue pretty clearly. Yeah. I I I wonder if I don't have this. I probably have this issue with every matchup. I'm pretty sure. That you uh, what? But like, I, I have this issue with probably other matchups. Probably, yeah. But 
it's different because in details you can't really uh, out outplay the option in ritual like mm -hmm. like your character doesn't be... just win yeah okay so one thing i wanted to show you is sort of so you beat falco yeah i just do it by autopilot i can't <laughs> I, 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 I can't help it that's when you know you're true Falco. uh-huh <laughs> so yeah so you're doing a lot of stuff like this or like this and then do like that and i really want to see a lot more of like this yeah and then should, should i just sh shadow box the like kind of maybe? yeah no i would say and you're you're looking for opportunities more like this where you dash back dash in drill like rather than doing like dash back dash in like dash back dash in drill you want to do yeah. dash back dash in drill and like th this drill is going to hit them oh my goodness this drill is going to hit them wow this drill is going to hit them when they try to like approach into you like that so do like practice like doing this and remember you can just press down before you jump to get this one yeah or down as you, in your jump squat but yeah so like practicing that where like they're approaching me and then they like full hop in or something and i get this and then kind of practice like these drills oops like that because if you do this one you have a mix up between like fast fall no fast fall like that versus yeah. that and like they can't really punish that very easily and then also stuff like this like dash back dash in full hop like this where you fade back so you okay. kind of do something like this you can do stuff like this and then and then you can come in you know you'll see people just kind of like that thing um okay. but mostly i think like okay so like what are the things we what are the things we went over let's do a little review so one yeah. of them is don't try to hit them out of their ledge dash usually what you can do is you just kind of stay right here and then they'll ledge dash and if they ledge dash nair or something you can get a dash back grab yeah. and a lot of times if they up tilt even you can get a grab i'll try to like stay kind of close like i'll make it look like i'm gonna punish it like this and then when they ledge dash then i just dash away or whatever um i think that's a, a much better solution because you got bodied out of his ledge dash up tilts and stuff like that like yeah. during that those games and there was no reason for you to, to be uh falling into those the other one is like yeah. Okay, so that's point one. Point two is, yeah. like, moving around on platforms more. Um, just in general, like, using them to kind of, like, like, you're here. Like, let's say I'm here, and my opponent is, like, here, and they're dash dancing, and I kind of go in for a second, and it's, like, kind of, uh, 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 and I'll do, like, a lot of stuff like that, where I just kind of, like, do, like, this, this hop up like that. The reason why I like this rather than, like, um, this is because I can still hit like this. Like if I jump up like this, I can do this. I can still do this. So like if I jump and they jump up after me, I can get maybe like that type of thing. So a lot of times I won't even like wave land it. I'll just kind of I'll just kind of jump up and I'll kind of be moving around. And you just kind of want to do this like maintain your safety. Um, oh, the other one is don't don't just do this. You know. Yeah. You're better off. You're kind of it's you're better off kind of doing this and then going to ledge and ledge dashing. Like, if you're going to wave dash back out of your shield, something where, yeah. like, where you go to ledge and ledge dash yeah. is good. Or um, if you're here and then you kind of, you can mix up between this and this, you know, from that position. Or this, you know, rather than doing the wave dash back. So, like, shielding right here, I understand it's going to happen. But you can always, you know, do this to get out. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Yeah. You can just full hop here like that rather than doing kind of this thing so i want to see like moving around more and not doing that wave dash thing so like i definitely just want to see a lot more of this type of thing where you're kind of going like this okay. you're kind of doing that um not going in immediately right that was that was one of them you kind of want to wall more like this rather than kind of like that um make sure at low percents you don't go for like stuff like this like low percent you want to be looking for the kills or like the combo moves in every situation um let's see yeah yeah so, so like not not backering when it doesn't come down no backering when they're at like 30 you know you really want to be looking for like drills grab up smash shine up air up tilt you know you want to be yeah. looking for the moves that lead into the big combos um with the edge guard thing uh like i said i think it's better like 
to do something where you like look like you're gonna cover ledge and then you cover on stage and stuff like that or you look like you're gonna cover on stage like this and then you just suddenly grab ledge like I'll do stuff like this where you go kind of like this or you're looking like you're gonna you're looking like you're gonna cover this and you just oops like I'll do like oh I'm totally gonna cover it like that and then just grab ledge like that at the last second um, so I think like continuing to kind of be tricky in your edge guards and not just see yeah. it as like a complete reaction test every time yeah, might like I think I'm 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 stressing them too much kind of like I'm I'm trying too much like to eat them perfect basically. react yeah everybody I know who has yeah. problems edge guarding in this matchup tries to like super perfect react to everything yeah. and most of the time you just get one read like I'll just get one of these into like that you know like one yeah, little so back air read and then they're dead like uh, reading and trying to to bait them kind of yeah I try to bait them it's kind of like um it's kind of like if somebody does like a mistech but they're like, like they miss tech, but you're at like a range where like you yeah. can't, like you're you can't really get like dash and crouch, right? Um, a lot of yeah. times you'll kind of do this little dash dance to try to bait them into like get up attacking, and then you can grab them. It's kind of the same thing where like yeah, even though you're in like a really asymmetrical situation where you have like a big advantage, um. It's still yeah. neutral game, you know, you still want to bait them and stuff like that. So when somebody's off stage, I just want you to, like, continue seeing it as, like, this sort of baiting, reading game rather than, like, oh, I now I just pure react, you know? And, um, okay, I think that's about it. Yeah, so I like, I have, like, not contesting ledge dashes, uh, using more platforms in neutral. Uh, Make sure well, that you go fun. for combo moves. Yeah, uh, less le no ledge dash, uh, no waves dash, uh, no yeah, wave dash back. Yeah, yeah, don't wave dash back. Um, watch out for that little like dash dance four times and jump in with a drill or nair thing. You want to dash dance longer, five seconds between neutral yeah. interactions. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. I, that's <laughs> the one I would say might help you the most. <laughs> yeah. Is like the taking the break in neutral and like kind of like letting your opponent make things happen and then like trying to counter that. But uh, okay, man, it was a good conversation. I yeah. uh, hope it helped. I'll send yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like I have so much to work on. Uh huh. That's super sick. I'm super happy about this. And what was the last part? Uh, no, it's it's cool. Okay, cool. And uh, I guess I'll send you my uh, PayPal or something like that. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, man. Yeah. It was sick. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I had I had a lot of fun and like thanks again. It, it I, I feel like it, the way you teaching, like it, I really feel like I can understand what you feel. I, I what awesome. You say, that's sick. I, I think it's because we yeah, get along too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was great talking to you again, man. Hopefully, I'll be back in yeah. France or you qualify I, I, or something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to Genesis Eight <laughs> if if I don't get owned by like the new variant. Right, code. right. Okay, that'd be sick. So, that'd be hype to see. Yeah. You. All right, sick man. Peace. Uh, have a good night. Hopefully, peace. Have a good day. <laughs>